How do you define yourself? By your religion? As someone's parent or child? By your profession? Are you accepting your own identities but questioning others? As individuals, we're always more than one thing at a time. Art can be an avenue to shed light on issues and invite us to question what informs us, who we are, how we are perceived, and what undermines and transforms us. Hello everyone, my name is Willie Moultrie and I'm a gallery teacher at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Thank you for joining. In this video, I'll talk about a painting that could be seen here titled Officer of the Hussars. Officer of the Hussars is an oil painting created by Kehinde Wiley in 2007. It depicts a contemporary African-American man riding a horse, rearing up on its hind legs. The figures are surrounded by a background that shows a vast landscape with cannons from the source painting by Theodore Gerakalt and ornamental motifs that were popular during the 1700s in Europe. What do you notice about this artwork? Does anything stand out? Excellent. If you look closely at the frame, you'll start to notice how detailed it is. Have you ever seen a frame this fancy? The Rococo style of this frame adds to the art piece by giving it a more stylish or high lifestyle appearance. The gold motif in the background also gives us this impression. What kind of places would you see this type of art? In a museum? In someone's home? in a music video, or maybe even a TV show. Let us take another look. What more can we find? Let us take a closer look at the man on the horse. How would you define their facial expressions, their body language? What more can we find? The man on the horse is dressed in a contemporary urban fashion with a tank top and jeans. Have you noticed his boots? The Timberland, a popular brand. Have you noticed his purple jacket? What's going on with the horse? Have you noticed how the horse has a fancy bridle? Did you notice the horse's saddle? Did you point out the cannon in the background? Wiley appears to be merging themes of the past and present in this painting. Wiley's painting is based on a work by the French artist Theodore Gerakalt entitled Officer of the Chasseurs Commanding a Charge or Officer of the Hussars in 1812. It is in the Louvre Museum in Paris. While this process to create his paintings begins with searching for models in the urban setting of places like Harlem, Los Angeles, and Atlanta. Once selected or chosen, his models are asked to look through art history books and choose their favorite painting. While he photographs the model in the pose and then paints the model in a similar pose and setting seen in the photograph. Kehinde Wiley has expressed numerous times his perspective on art and representation one of his quotes reads, oftentimes when I go to the great museums throughout the world, most of the pictures on the wall don't happen to look like me. And in my pictures, I'm trying to sort of correct for a bit of that. My job as an artist is not to paint the world as a type of utopia. I think what I do is I respond to the world that I'm given. Officer of the Hussars by Kehinde Wiley is an artwork that explores notions of culture and power while creating a balance between traditional and contemporary art. Wiley's intention is to emphasize the fact that the fine art tradition has omitted black men from its lengthy history. There's a number of resources that I use in the work, and part of it is religious iconography and religious painting, but the other part has to do with society portraits. In those paintings, it's more about landed gentry, sort of powerful rich white men on their land, sort of looking confident and strident. There's a language of power that's in those paintings. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is to craft a language that investigates that type of power, and the vocabulary that I speak is one that is very contemporary. Kehinde Wiley, born February 28th, 1977, is an American portrait painter based in New York City, who is known for his hyper-realistic renderings of African Americans. Wiley's paintings frequently refer to the works of old master paintings. He was commissioned in 2017 to paint a portrait of former President Barack Obama for the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery, which has portraits of all previous American presidents. If you would like to learn more about Kehinde Wiley, you can visit the website kehindewiley.com. This wraps up the video. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you soon at the DIA.